every time he lifts his shirt and like pulls his shirt back, I'm like, I need to hit the gym for like three weeks. No, bro, I don't work How out. How often do you, you don't, I don't, no. I don't work out at See, all. that doesn't make me feel any better. <laughs> now, now you're like, I don't work out. I just, this is what I look like. Oh, man. So I, I, I've got full on dad bods starting to happen and you're just like, I don't know oh, to do anything. too, man. Being on the road with Jason, a bunch of Coors <laughs> lights, I'm starting to sit down and I see something. I'm like, what is this little <laughs> flap right here? I've never had it before. <laughs> here we go. Buckle up and hold on. Come on. Check it out, y'all. <laughs> Stars in Cars with Kane Brown. What's up, man? Kane Brown. What's up? How you doing, man? I'm good. How, How you been? Good. Good. Hanging out. Got a buckle for safety. Yes, sir. What's your cup say? Starbucks. No, the name on it though. Oh, uh, Lena. Yeah, Lena. Oh, because a girl, yeah, a girl went and picked it up. Okay, so it wasn't just them being funny trying to put a random name on a cup like nah, they normally do. If it was All something right. like that, it'd be like super duper cane <laughs> or something. <laughs> Which I want to start way back at the beginning because your story is a little different than most. Most people go and they play for labels and you know they get signed pretty early on. You kind of did everything yourself and were a one-man machine for a good portion of it. You got a huge Facebook following early on, YouTube. Yeah. What was your thinking and like, here's how I'm gonna start my, you know, start my career. This is this is how I want to do it. Man, honestly, I never thought in many years I'd be doing music. I was working at FedEx. I was it was like the longest job I ever had. I was a day away from becoming a driver when everything uh, kicked off, and my management was like, you need to quit. Uh, working and come to Nashville which kind of scared me but um, you know I was just doing it for fun and I got lucky and we've got a fan base that has been very loyal to me and my army and um, I just been I don't know man I've just been doing my thing and it's just been working out like you know small things would happen but it would and I would think it would affect me but you know it led to something bigger. Comes out October 6th. Uh, it's got four new um, songs on it. Heaven, uh, What's Mine Is Yours, Found You, that's out now. Came out September 8th. And then uh, a duet with Chris Young called Set the Night on Fire. So what was it like working with him? Because you're, you're on the road with him and Jason Aldean right now. So you guys yeah. are spending a lot of and time together. It's honestly interesting working with Chris because Chris has one of the best voices in Nashville. So whenever you're in the studio and he already sings and you're going up behind him, you're like, <laughs> I'm about to have to compete with him now, so. But I feel like our, our voices really uh, complement each other on the song, right. and uh, you know everybody at the label they, they want it to be a single really bad. But I just don't want to come with um, another song back to back with another feature. I don't want to be a DJ Khaled. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I just I want to do my own single and then maybe come with that one next. Okay, so. What's what's coming after that? Obviously, the, the deluxe is going to have four new songs. Are you already in the middle of working on, you know, the follow up to this to this album? No, we're we're about to start writing. Uh, I'm really excited about it. Uh, I, I feel like I found my my core writers that like write within Nashville, and, and I've, the four new songs you'll kind of be able to hear my new sound. It's like R and B uh, and country together. Um, so I'm just really excited about it. Hopefully, we can start a new trend. And, um, well, there's definitely no one in country music that you are identical to or just like. You are, you are kind of setting your own path for being unique and different. And obviously there's been critics along the way, but you've got one of the most loyal fan bases I've seen, and your fans love it. And obviously country radio and the audience is starting to like it too. Was it was it hard early on when people may have been saying negative things to kind of ignore that? Because, you know, whether it be one person when you're going to high school say something negative about you or you know, hundreds of people or thousands of people, it's, you, you gotta look at those at some point and go, okay, is this, is this true, you know? Yeah. Um, and you, uh, you've always been strong on social media and I know you're not, a, you're not bullied very easily, but w what was kind of going on through the back of your head that kept you focused on, no, this is how I'm gonna do country music and this is gonna be my way of doing it? No, I really think, I think it was just my fans because, I mean, you, you would, you would have haters, you know, get on my stuff every once in a while, but and I hate talking about myself, but how do you just up and drop everything because a couple haters were talking about you, but you have over 15 million views on videos and more lovers than you do haters. So um, honestly, my fans are what kept me going. And, uh, you know, just I, I love trying to prove people wrong and very competitive. I think, uh, you, I think you've done that. I think you have succeeded proving people wrong. You, um, it, It's been awesome watching your career grow. And um, 
obviously there's more big things coming. I can't wait for the deluxe album myself. Um, one one crazy story, and I always go back to this. I remember talking to Lauren about it at one point, and that's how I learned about it. But the song that you have with Lauren Elena is more than just this feature song. You guys actually went to school together, right? Yeah. And, and I read that she was kind of an inspiration for you when when you were you know when you were both you were both I mean your butt guys are both pretty young now, but when you were younger. You know, she was an inspiration for you. How, how did, were you guys friends in school? Did you guys just kind of know each other? How did that whole thing come about? Um, we, yeah, we were in seventh grade together. I moved to schools a lot, so like, and I played sports. So I knew the majority of the people at Lakeview whenever I moved there in seventh grade. And uh, Lauren was a cheerleader, um, and her best friend was a cheerleader. So I, start, I started dating her best friend, and that's how I met Lauren. And uh, me and Lauren got put in choir class together, and she was still the same person she is today, like, very outgoing and um, incredible voice. So I was always a shy kid that didn't talk in class, and um, she heard me humming one day, and she made me stay after and sing for the teacher. And uh, I think that kind of, like, broke me out of my show, because uh, I really looked up to her, because, you know, her voice was amazing. So then she went on to do American Idol, and uh, this was, I think, my sophomore year, or junior year, and... Um, I went to my mom and I was like, Mom, watch this girl. Like, her voice is crazy. She's going to win. Was before she ever tried out, I just knew she was. I was like, she's going to win American Idol. Uh, and then she went on and did her thing. They brought her back home for a, a parade in Fort Oglethorpe. Uh, and it was just like, it was so inspiring. And then you see this, we have a statue um, down in our place where it's like, you know, Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia. But it's, right. It's like home, Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia, home of Lauren Elena. So I was like, I want to sharpen my name in on that. Day, so. <laughs> you guys have both the same the same hometown. Yeah. Okay. So now they they just got to add now. I, I think you've done it at this point, right? You've got the success uh, of know. you know your own music. What ifs is obviously huge. Um, so so hopefully we can st- we should start a campaign and uh, right. and get your name added to the sign. That'd be awesome. Has there been like one moment, one fan moment that's kind of stuck out in your memory? It doesn't have to be a super sappy story, but it could be something really funny that's happened. Is there something that just kind of sticks out as like that one moment you always kind of go back to in your head and you can't forget? Uh, yeah, and this is this is funny because uh, I, honestly, I don't know what happened. Uh, I was in line for meet and greet. Uh, these people were coming up, and this, this one little girl. I love kids. Uh, so this one little girl came up, she took a picture with me, and she had this paper that said Chris Young, and uh, <laughs> so I'm sitting there, and her mom and dad's behind the curtain with her, uh, with their other little daughter, and so they wake, they walk up, and uh, they're like, wait, you're Cam Brown, and I was like, yeah, this is my meet and greet, and they're like, we're in the wrong meet and greet, we're supposed to be in Chris's meet and greet, so... They like got really excited. Uh, the parents said, "They're like, this is Kane Brown." The one daughter was like, "Who's Kane Brown?" The the littlest one, she's like, "Who's Kane Brown?" And then the one daughter that just took a picture with me after they said, "This is Kane Brown," she started crying. So in my head, I was like, <laughs> I, "I was like, no, you're gonna meet, you're gonna meet Chris. Like, you can go to his meet and greet. It's not that." But she was really just excited to see me. But it was like she didn't realize that I was Kane Brown and not Chris Young. That's. That's Which funny. Me and Christian, I don't feel like we look alike at all. But, uh, no, you guys don't look <laughs> any. I think you've got. Uh, does he even have any tattoos? Uh, he might. I, I think he might have a, a Texas Longhorn tattoo, but I might be wrong. Okay. So, where did speaking of tattoos, where did yours? You know, I mean, it always starts with one, and I've yeah. always, I've always wanted to do a sleeve, but I, I, I'm pretty confident in that. I would be that weird looking dude with the no, sleeve. You pull a sleeve off. I, but I don't know what I would put Especially on. That shirt. That shirt would look cool. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It, it's addictive, right? Because yeah. everyone I talk to, they get one and then they just, it just multiples over and over. Well, my last, like, my last back. one hurt so bad that I told myself, right there. Yeah, my hand. I told myself I'd never get another one. And now it's like I want another one, but I keep remembering how bad this. We're well, running hurt. out of space at this point, aren't you? I mean, that's a problem too. Well, this is the best part. It's like because I see all this. I see a when it's on your skin. I see a bunch of space. Right. Uh, so like right here, like I got to do all this and fill all this, all this in. This is gonna hurt. I don't want to do this. See, I'm feeling bad about every time he lifts his shirt and like pulls his shirt back. I'm like, I need to hit the gym for like three weeks. No, bro, I don't work. How out. often do you, you don't? You, um, no, I don't work out. See, at that all. doesn't make me feel any better. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you're like, I don't work out. I just, this is what I look like. Oh, man. I so, eat, eat. I've got full-on dad bod starting to happen, and you're just like, I don't know oh, what to I do anything. Oh, I am too, man. Being on the road with Jason, I, 
bunch of Coors Lights. I'm starting to sit down and I see something. I'm like, what is this little flap right here? I've never had it before. <laughs> are you the person that loves kids, don't ever want any of your own? Or are you, one day are you hoping you're going to end up having kids? No, I'm at that point where I want I want one so bad, but I'm just so scared to have it. I mean, Dodge is going to have I have a Hellcat. Dodge is going to have to make a, a Hellcat minivan or something. So you're, you're a car person? Oh, yeah. I'm a car person, too. So Hellcat Charger or... Because we're actually driving around a Charger right now. This yeah. is... Not a Hellcat. This is a rental car, okay. um, so it's nothing exciting. But um, is yours the Challenger or the Charger? Yeah, I got the Challenger. And uh, I, I just drove one of those a couple weeks ago for the first time. Um, and I even had the red key. The person actually trusted me with the red key, which Ooh. is the one that allows you to use the supercharger, by the yeah. way, for those that don't know. Uh, speeding tickets yet? No. No? Um, Pulled over? I have been pulled over, but it wasn't for speeding. It was for my um, my window tent. Okay. Which is actually very dark, and somehow I got away with it. Uh, fastest you've gone yet? Um, I won't. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to tell you, but I don't. You can't get a ticket for it by admitting it. They have to see it. I so. know, but I, I've been 197. Family would not. Oh, damn. Yeah. 197. Yeah. That would be I have so much more respect for you now. Not that I did it before, <laughs> but. That is impressive. Yeah, I'm a huge. I, I've done a lot to it. Uh, you can't do that with the kids in the car. I'm going to oh, warn you. If I'll you go never, fast, never. Um, I, I I tell my wife that we didn't go fast. That we may every now and then, but yeah. just don't do it with the kids in the car. No. Or at least don't go home and tell your, no. you know, wife when you end up getting married that you know, uh, we went 197 today. The, the thing about but the, the kids had fun. Yeah, the thing about the Hellcat is like, I feel like if I had them in the car, you know, you can just drop down a gear and just press it real quick and then let off and they'll have fun it's like a roller coaster <laughs> yep it's exactly like that yeah, yeah. well kane brown thank you so much it was a blast and uh look for him on the road with jason aldean new deluxe albums coming out yep. here very very soon and uh it'll be exciting to see uh you headlining your own tour next we'll see i'm not there's no wood in here just, but I'm just not. throw some fire and some flames and pyro and you've got the jason aldean <laughs> show and yeah. and you can do it too you've got a big fan base you're, you're ready all so right, it'll we'll be see. fun to see you there next. Thank All right. Man. Thank you, you so much. Yes, sir. Kane Brown.